Hello everyone, Darla Delane here, founder of She CEO. And today I want to talk about being and feeling and acting open, being open, feeling open. I um, was writing about this the other day and realized I had heard something talking about someone that they were very courageous and being sort of vulnerable about something. And I, as I started to kind of journal on it, I was thinking, you know, oh, well, open, like being vulnerable. And then I realized that the meanings for those two words had a slight difference in them that really made a big difference in how I physically even sat when I said the word, like what I did, how I felt, and what my next action would be, uh, depending on whether I was feeling open or vulnerable. And I, I've said this before, some of you may have heard where it's it's kind of like vulnerable is to open, like grateful is to appreciation. So appreciation is this highest vibrational energy form of love, right? Because it's so clean. It's like, I appreciate that. It, it doesn't have a whole lot of meaning other than pure, this pure love for it without the word love kind of taking you off in some different tangents around there. Grateful implies that somehow someone did something because you were down or you weren't able to do it yourself, or you're below them in some way. It just has, it's grateful's an awesome word. It just has a tad bit of a meaning difference that shifts when we say it. If you say to someone, oh, wow, thank you so much. I so appreciate it. Or if you say, oh, wow, thank you so much. I'm so grateful for this. You see how it's it, it kind of shifts. There's this balance, power-ish thing that shifts a bit. And so I personally have been practicing using the word appreciation so that I'm full on feeling the full love for that other person. So there's no sacrifice involved. It's all just pure coming from that connected, strong, powerful place. Vulnerable and open for me seem to be very similar in that. So when we say... That, that we want someone to be vulnerable. When you're, when you're vulnerable, that means you are opening yourself, but you're doing it in spite of a fear that there may be some pain coming, <laughs> that there may be some in, embarrassment or some humiliation even, or some ridicule or criticism. So when you're being vulnerable, it's almost for me, has a a, a, a a connotation that you are bringing on, that you're allowing in, that you're getting ready for the pain and the fear that is to follow, and you're going to let it come. And that's, that's, you know, and that totally can be just like my mental meaning around it, around my experiences around being vulnerable, is that... It's like, okay, I'm going to be vulnerable and open up and maybe apologize for something, even though I may not get one back. It's like you always, it's like you're setting yourself up for the pain or fear or punishment or something that may come. Open is more powerful. It, it comes from this place of knowing that I'm just going to be open. Uh, uh, no matter what happens, I'm fine. I'm fully protected. Nothing's going to hurt me. I'm just open about this. This is this is who I am because I'm coming from love and I see that value in it. Same thing about when you're thinking about um, business. If you are open in your marketing, you are displaying fully the truth of who you are and your businesses and your service and those type of things. If you're being vulnerable in your marketing, you are... It's like you've been hiding and you're going to kind of peek out. Uh, it just has a different um, energy behind it. So being open is like this space of that that you don't have to feel the need to get protected because you already are. 
And when we're being open, sometimes we think about, okay, I'm going to be open about this. So we slowly open the door, right? We, we slowly open to the world, our truth. Let me show my truth. That's really vulnerable instead of open. Open's a lot more open the door. Here I am. I'm going to say who I am and what I'm doing. Whereas vulnerable can be a little more slower. Um, we might have some pain that may be involved in that. So as you are moving forward in your business as a business owner, being open is this awesome way to be and feel when you are collaborating with other people. You can have the same effect of being vulnerable without the fear of the of the pain or any of that being open is a good listener being open is valuing someone else as much as you value yourself being open is valuing yourself as much as you value someone else and this this connection to source in this openness allows these sparks of creativity to fly, allows the vision to be more open, allows the possibilities. I'm open to the possibilities. It's it's this allowing that widens that path of resistance, right? And gets you in this, um, this place of real, it comes from self-love and love of others, both this equal value in everyone and what's what's kind of coming from that and where that is and as we do that there's not any guilt behind it about us feeling small uh, sometimes vulnerable has this layer of guilt behind it whereas when you're open you know your grand marvel of who you are is as grand and marvelous as everyone else. And so this openness comes from this really powerful, empowered place of moving forward, allowing things to happen. When you are open in your business, you're open to creative, inspired inspirations to come rather than hesitating and waiting and you don't have as much trust for yourself being open has tr full trust in your knowing that that all is well that you are coming from that connected place where the path of your resistance is open and you're allowing in clients you're allowing in finances you're allowing in relationships you're allowing into your life because you are open and ready and knowing that you're fully protected and you are fully in your space of empowerment as you do it it's there is no fear attached no distortion to it there's there's not that now i opened up and now what's going to happen being open is not hesitant it is door open. Uh, it's not like you're coming through this little shady place. You know, open is open. It's either open or it's not. <laughs> it's like it's either coming from love or it's coming from fear. And that's how that open place helps you in your business as you're moving along, getting, getting the relationships to work even better, getting everything that you're doing in both your business and your life to be able to flow much easier and um, with much more uh, energy behind it. it. Openness has a real energized energy to it. It's like, okay, I'm open. Let's go. What are, What's happening? And it's this ready, this readiness that is already there. This, I can't, this eager anticipation of what is coming in your life, this eager anticipation of what's next, because you've already created it over here. And now it's this allowing it in time. You already know what this business is you want to have, what this team looks like, what your rock star life is going to look like. And now you're open to the different, the plethora of different creative ways that this can occur. And as you are, and you don't have the attachment on fear, you don't have the attachment on needing to protect, you don't have the attachment on that, you've released that, and now it can come to you so much easier. So as you're working with words in your life and, and feelings that you're having, really investigating where they come from and where you feel them and how you act when you say the word can really let you know 
whether that's coming from a healthy place of this high energy connected to knowing that all is well and positive moving forward, no matter what the condition is, or whether it is attached to a fearful place of hesitating and waiting and thinking that you've got some, you might not be doing it right. There may be some shame or some guilt. There may be some something back there that is having you hesitate a bit. So where it feels in your body. So if you said to yourself, I am open, you know, where do you feel that? How does that feel when you say I am vulnerable? Okay, it's like, I can't, I can't even say it without kind of sinking in a little, a little bit. So saying the words, I am grateful. I am appreciative. See, the grateful is a thank you with a little bit of a head bow belowness. Appreciative is this explosion of your love and your appreciation for that person or that activity or this thing that you have that you that you are excited about. So it's like you can notice what your head does, what your voice does, where it is in your in your kind of in your gut, what you feel, and that will let you know if that's a word you want to be using as you move forward in your marketing, in the way you talk to other people, and especially in noticing in yourself whether you are really a little closed off, even if you say you're being vulnerable, are you a little closed off in that, rather than full on open, which can make for a really, really exciting and very innovative collaboration with other people. All right, until next time. Darla Delane, and I hope you think about that as you're moving forward in being open and being, feeling authentic and true. Openness has that with it. And this, this goes in the way you talk to people, the way you are with yourself, and the way that you are marketing and delivering in your business as well. Until next time, bye.